Hello everybody, how you doing today? Tony Rizzano here, Affiliate Party Podcast. We are coming to you live from Charlotte, North Carolina. And today we are going to be talking about bad affiliate programs. How to keep your feet out of the shit. Okay, let's get started. Now, we've all, most of us, I'm sure everybody listening to this program at one point in time has probably walked somewhere and stepped their foot in shit. It's not a good feeling, right? Exactly. Of course not. Sort of like um, if you ever watch Back to the Future, <laughs> when <laughs> every movie, every movie, Biff, what does Biff do? Crash his car in the, <laughs> in the horse shit. And he always goes, I hate manure. We all, we all don't like it. We all don't, nobody wants to step in shit. And that's, that's how it feels when you walk into a bad affiliate program. Now, how do you know a bad affiliate program from a good affiliate program? Very good question. I have the answer for you. So, avoiding a bad affiliate program. There's a few ways you can tell if this is going to be a bad affiliate program or not. One way is if you look, in, if you look deep, if you look real close inside the the program, the affiliate program, and it's not a product that they're actually selling. So you go, so what are you doing? What is this about? And they go, well, you know, we do this, we do that. But it's like, where's the product? Because you can be an affiliate for anything and everything from Walmart to lens crafters to yada, yada, yada. You name it, you can be an affiliate for it. All those places I just named, they, they all have products. Me, myself, I fell in the shit a couple months ago. I decided it. I knew this guy. He said, hey, I'm in this program. It's an affiliate program, blah, blah, blah. We do this. We do that. And, I'm, I was, and, I, and at first I said, what do you do? He said, "We do, all we do is task online. And I said, that sounds quite sketchy. And, uh, of course, he was like, no, we just we, we do tasks and we get paid. And I said, and I said, so I don't have to bother anybody because I don't. Something like that. When something don't when something don't smell right, you don't want to start. You know, you don't want to tell. You don't want to really tell anybody about it because you're like, well, me personally, I'm not a. I don't. I mean, me personally, even even though I'm definitely not where I want to be in my affiliate marketing business, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to rip people off to get to where I want to go. I don't want to be like one of these. Uh, uh, well, it's not that many. <laughs> See, this is this is one good thing you can do when you're. I'm on the I'm on the rise, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not like Howard Stern. I don't have like eight million people listening. So you can name people who are kind of fake gurus. You know, I don't want to be sort of like a um, a Dan Locke or a Kevin David David Kevin whatever his name is. I don't want to be like these people. If you want to, if you ever, this this is the pause for the cause. But if you ever want to see videos about fake gurus, just go on YouTube, and they're they're quite funny because definitely they point out definite signs of these people being like not who they say they are. Well, they are who they are, but they're con artists basically. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <clears throat> so I don't want to be a piece of shit like that. You know, I don't want to rip people off. But um, you know, so. This guy was telling me about this affiliate program, and I said, eh, you know, it sounds kind of, you know. I knew I know the guy from high school, but, you know, I was like, eh, you know. And I, I don't know the guy like that anymore. You know, I haven't seen him in a long time. So he said, oh, yeah, we just do selling. We don't we don't sell nothing, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so it was like cost to get in was like 100 bucks. So I got frustrated. When, <laughs> I got, and this is one thing. Please, don't the, Please don't do this. Don't ever do something I, I've, I've, I've done a couple of times in my life. You get frustrated at work, very frustrated. <laughs> boiling, <laughs> boiling hot, you know what I mean? I was at work. I worked probably 14, 15 hours that day, and I was pissed. I was probably somewhere in God's green earth. I don't know where the hell I was. I'm sure I was pissed off. And I just said, you know what? He sent me a link, and I said, you know what? I'm going to check this out. <clears throat> I said, it can't be. It can't be the worst than what I'm doing right now. The frustration was, the frustration was an overdrive. Okay, but anyway, so I signed up, spent the hundred dollars. It's two o'clock in the morning, so I'm doing all this stuff. 
and they say, you know, click on this video, watch this video, watch these little webinars. I do all this shit, you know. Yada yada yada. But the point of it all is <clears throat> we're gonna cut we're gonna cut down some of the story. The point of all is it was it was it was it's a shitty affiliate program. The name of it is Sex Successful Solution Methods. Uh, don't get into it. It's all, all the, and they they claim that they they claim that you can buy traffic, but and I'm looking. I'm like, does the, the, the traffic come? Because if you if you ever buy leads or something like that, which I probably talked about before, if you don't have a lot of experience in buying leads, don't buy leads. Just try to get organic traffic first. But anyway, most of the time when you buy leads, they go to a you know, you have an autoresponder. I have a get response. You ever go to they 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 so they go to my get response when you buy leads sometimes. If you ever buy leads. They go to your get response or your AWeb or whatever you got. They go to but this program, they don't really go to they don't go anywhere. It's like so I'm buying leads for what? What what am I buying traffic for? Where is this traffic going to? Who is this traffic going to? What the hell is going on, you know? I mean, me personally, I think it's a pyramid scheme, but, you know, I didn't really, I need the right, and then I'll, and then I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing, I'll tell you another little side note. We're going on a little, a lot of side notes today, but best bear with me. I fucked up. I'll admit it. I fucked up because after a couple of days, I was like, okay, this seems, because the people seem like they, you know, they seem legit, but you got to watch all it. I'm telling you what. You gotta watch all these people. You gotta watch everybody. A lot of these people, they're not scam artists, but they drink the Kool Aid so damn fast, you know. And they just like, yeah, this this is great. This is great, you know. Cause a lot of these people are saying how they making fifty bucks, hundred bucks. Then they say they're not selling. They're not telling. I'm like, but then they post every day on their Facebook page how much money they make. And so I'm like, oh okay. So after a couple of days, <clears throat> after I calm down, <laughs> it stopped seeing red so much from my, uh, you know, place of employment of the, of the truck driving. I finally, my common sense finally kicked back in, and I said, hold on now. They're not selling or telling nobody, but every damn day I uh, get on Facebook, they posting about how much money they're making. So they're not directly telling you, but they, you know, they're not directly selling you anything, but they're definitely telling you, you know. I mean, they're not directly selling you. It's indirect selling, basically, what it is. It's like, hey, look at me over here. I'm making this now. Blah, 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 blah. But... I mean, it's an affiliate program, but it's no, it's no product, it's no product, it's no real traffic, it's no nothing. It's a fucking pyramid scheme. I mean, that's just my opinion, but you can check it out if you want. No, don't check it out. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna tell you to check it out. Don't check that shit out. Leave that shit alone. I fell into the trap. I only lost a hundred bucks, so thank goodness. But anyway, so that's a, that. That is a that is a perfect example of a shitty affiliate program, and yours truly, you know fell into it hey we're all not perfect you know what i mean i I, i'm certainly not perfect i got away from my uh my standards and practices of looking into this stuff and uh, i fell into the trap so that's how you can fall in the bad affiliate programs boom one bad night and you can be out of 100 bucks but um so that's that's an example of a bad affiliate program they don't have any products they don't have any kind of you know anything like that that's a bad affiliate program another 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 thing is um if it doesn't really pay you a whole lot you know <clears throat> i mean some affiliate programs pay you 40 percent, 50 percent. some uh, pay you 10 cents so if this if it's real low if it's really like five bucks something like that it depends on what it is i mean i wouldn't you can't turn that into a full-time affiliate marketing business so if you want if you want to do just some little if you want to make a few bucks and it's a program like that then by all means but if you say, hey, I'm quitting my job tomorrow to do affiliate marketing, and then you tell me, oh, I'm getting um, $2 commission, and it's not recurring, then don't do that. Don't do low. Don't do, that's that is, that's even below, that's not a low ticket. That's a, that's low ball. So don't, don't, don't get 50 cent a commission, you know. Don't do stuff like that and try to make it into a full-time business. That's, uh, that's not good at all. But then another, <clears throat> another an, another thing about a bad well this is gonna be this might be an unpopular view but at one point I remember I was uh, I signed up for ClickFunnels cause I I signed up for this other program and they was like you know to market us or whatever we use ClickFunnels so 
I signed up for ClickFunnels. I used it for a couple months. I really didn't like it. I checked out the, uh, they had a Facebook program, so I was still fairly new at the time. So I went to the Facebook page, you know, and they was like, oh, you can be part of the ClickFunnels Facebook group, blah, 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 blah. Facebook, I mean, ClickFunnels itself, the product, I like it. It's it's a good product, don't get me wrong, but <clears throat> it's a little too pricey for me and what I wanted to spend <laughs> at the time because I wasn't really making any money. So I'm like, why well, am I going to spend 100 bucks on something that I'm not making, you know, I'm not really making any money. I'm just giving money away. And plus, I found a program, I found a, a system that was easier for me to use. It's a lot more simple for me, and it's only like $50 a month. So I, I, I switched over to that. But the most annoying thing about the ClickFunnels affiliate program, now the product itself is good, but the affiliate program to me, it's it's a pain in the ass because you got these other affiliates, they'll try to say you on their shit, their products, you know, and it's just like, I just want to learn about ClickFunnels. I don't care about your, what you teaching. I don't care about what you're doing. So you got all these people pulling at you. And when you're fairly new, sometimes you can get distracted and people will distract you. Then you're like, okay, I think that sounds good good too and then you get caught up in the shiny ball the shiny object syndrome you know you're like oh that sounds good i think this sounds good and then you really don't know who to go to you're like should i trust them should i trust them and then nothing a lot of people that use click finals are kind of scheme artists like the kevin davids and the dan locks i'm like oh man they like you got a lot of scam artists going on around here and just you know so I don't know. To me, I like the ClickFunnels. The product is good, but ClickFunnels, the affiliate program, to me is, mm, it's 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 not good. It's not. I don't like it. I don't like it because then sometimes um, a lot of people. I saw a lot of people complaining that they wasn't. They said, "Oh, I'm not getting my commissions. This, that, and the other." I mean, there might be some validity to that, but I don't know. But those are just a few examples of bad affiliate programs, and of course. You know, they are more good than bad, but you just want to stay away from the bad ones. You know, if they don't have products, if it's uh, you get into an affiliate program and then everybody and their mother is trying to sell you on their products, I would just get out of that because <clears throat> the one of the hard, one of the hardest things you'd have to do when you're starting when you're starting in affiliate marketing is is the noise. It's a lot of noise coming at you. And it's a lot of noise because you, when you try something new, of course, you want to learn everything you can, but sometimes you can go into overload. I mean, you don't, it's not on purpose. You're not doing it on purpose, but it's a lot of people that just like, say you join a group, you might join a, any kind of group on Facebook about affiliate marketing. And you're like, hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, I want to learn about affiliate market. You get a hundred damn messages. Hey, check this out. Hey, check this out. Check this out. And it's just a barrage. It's like an avalanche. And it's like, what the fuck? And it's just an avalanche of people. Whew. They look like uh, buzzards coming to pick up. <laughs> it's like buzzards coming to pick up dead meat from the uh, from the street. You know what I mean? So those are some um, those are some different varieties of. Um, bad affiliate programs in my humble opinion but there are plenty of good affiliate programs you can be a part of just um do your research don't be like me don't get frustrated one night and uh find yourself stepping in shit um because i'm still no <laughs> i'm very annoyed that i lost my hundred dollars on that program and then the worst part about it was a couple of uh, like the next day i was like I should write an article, and I was like, eh. uh, then I was like, I'm going to write an article, and then I wrote an article, and I had to go back, and like, uh, three, four days later, and delete it, and I was like, oh, shit, uh, make myself look like an asshole, I'm glad nobody really, nobody really, no, well, yeah, nobody signed up in those three or four days, so I was happy about that, I actually would have felt bad if somebody would have signed up, I would have felt like a piece of shit, you know, because <clears throat> like I said before, I mean, hell, you know, I mean, I'm here to make money, too, just like everybody else. But, I mean, honesty, honesty, man, honesty. You know, I like to be honest about, you know, I like to be honest about a lot of things. So, well, all things. So, you know, that's just me. You know, your, your moral compass might not be uh, strong, but, you know, I don't know. I don't want to be ripping people off, especially now, you know. Times are rough around here, you know. A lot of people losing the job, so a lot of people are looking for different ways to make money, but I don't want to.
be out here screwing people over. But anyway, that's it for today. Avoid the manure, everybody. Avoid the manure. Avoid the manure. This is the Affiliate Party Podcast. My name is Tony Rizzano. We're only doing one segment today, ladies and gentlemen. I know you like to hear my voice, but that's it for today. All right. Until next time. Until tomorrow, of course. Tomorrow's my po- tomorrow's podcast might be coming out a little later than normal. Got to do a little, got to do a little extra work tomorrow. All right, all right. But until then, oh yeah, I'll be writing an article tonight. So if you want to go to the lousydriver dot com tomorrow, check it out. It's about pyramid schemes. So I'm writing this article, it's pretty good too. So. Check it out. I got half. I'm about, I'm about halfway done. Probably try to. Fin- I'm gonna finish. Nah, I'm definitely gonna finish it up tonight. Anyway, you can always check it out. The lastdriver.com. We got. I gotta get in the website. That's a whole other story. Anyway, my name is Tom Rosano. This is the Affiliate Party Podcast, and as always, peace.